What's up everybody? Long time no see. It's nice to be back. I got a small problem with beauty pageants. As you know, the Miss Universe Philippines competition is happening right now and many amazing candidates from all around the Philippines are coming in and representing their regions and cities. I say amazing candidates and not beautiful candidates. Why? Because honestly, I sort of hate the focus on beauty in beauty pageants. <laughs> it's a really weird thing to say, I understand. You might be like, Tom, they're called beauty pageants for a reason. The winners sort of need to be beautiful, right? To that I say, yes, I agree with you totally. Just not in the way that you think. When I say beauty though, you're probably thinking of external beauty. You know, like easy on the eyes, eye candy, etc. But that is not what I'm talking about. I am talking about internal beauty. Last year, I judged a beauty pageant in the wonderful city of Dacaron. I learned while judging this beauty pageant that too much emphasis is placed on external beauty. Little to no consideration is given to internal beauty. In fact, that's sort of swept under the rug and nobody really thinks about it all that much. For me, in these competitions, everybody is externally beautiful. You know, like you're talking about hair-sized differences in beauty between all these candidates. Look, they're all gonna be beautiful. But what's so often missed is the wide gaps in internal beauty that can be seen between each individual candidate if you look closely enough. For instance, Miss Manila. In this competition, I really, really, really like her and her answers. She had a cool moment where she talked about how, you know, Miss Universe Philippines like shouldn't be so maarte. She should be humble. She should be down to earth. I love that. Thank you, Miss Manila, for bringing that up. She also talked about how she's not used to wearing so much makeup and how she favors staying inside and, you know, in her pajamas and, and like a baggy sweatshirt. To me, her answer is a good answer, but on the deeper level, it radiates honesty. She's being honest and there's beauty in honesty. In fact, there's not enough credit is given to how beautiful honesty is. And honesty requires courage because you're stepping out of the, the safe zone. Great answers, great thoughtful answers is the reason why Catriona Gray won Miss Universe in 2018. Um, her final answer was much better than the other two final answers from the other finalists. Um, Catriona blew them out of the water and she won because of her final answer. And I love that about her and I think that she's a great role model. We need to reorient grading in beauty pageants to internal beauty more than external beauty, in my opinion. You know, if it were up to me, I'd actually make the grading, you know, 60% about answers and personality and 40% based on beauty. I'll leave you with this. It's easy to be beautiful. You were born that way. You didn't do anything to make yourself more beautiful. It's just who you are, you're lucky. What's harder is to cultivate internal beauty. It's incredibly difficult. It is more rare and it requires much, much, much more work. And that's why it should be rewarded more in competitions like this. Miss Manila, I'm rooting for you. I hope you win. Bye-bye. I'll talk to y'all later. Tom out.